Welcome to another episode of Santor Snakes. On this episode, we are going to tell you our top five unfortunate things that you'll probably have to deal with as a snake owner. Thank you all that liked and subscribed. Now cue that intro. having a bad day today just wait until tomorrow to watch this because it might make you a little bit more sad if you own a snake probably it's a good point good advice starting on our list at number five we have your snake escaping right so it is most likely going to happen at some point that a snake will escape their enclosure or while you're handling it they get down drop to the ground and are able to wiggle away in some way or fashion um, we are very fortunate in that when daisy has escaped or when ladybug has made it onto the grass and wiggled away we've been able to uh, find them and get them back extremely quickly and we are just very lucky you know, in that sense uh, but uh, an escaping snake can be a big ordeal. Sometimes they are gone for weeks, if not months at a time. Uh, they can, of course, be very malnourished and dehydrated when you do find them. And sometimes, of course, they do perish. Uh, but there are definitely some ways to avoid it. And there are some ways to help uh, find your snake once it is lost, uh, which we discuss in another video. Next on the list at number four is getting bit by your snake. Yes, I have experienced this two times now. How about you, Carter? Me, zero. Oh, very good. Uh, there are two types of snake owners out there, snake owners that have been bit and snake owners that haven't been bit yet. Yeah. Um, so if you and when you become bit by one of your snakes hopefully it's a small one and not like a big boa constrictor or something like that obviously the bigger the snake the bigger the teeth and uh, the more painful it could be and the more bloody it could be yes. uh, I mean with a, a big even non-venomous snake you might need some stitches just depending on where it gets you and what type of snake it is but uh, you know we put uh, being bit by a snake at number four assuming that it is a non-venomous snake but if you own and handle venomous snakes, then being bit by your snake jumps all the way to... Number one. Number one. Obviously, you need to seek medical attention immediately. Coming in at the middle of the list, at number three, we have respiratory infections. Yes, so respiratory infections, or RI as they are sometimes called, uh, can be pretty serious. Uh, it happens when the humidity levels are not right. There are some species like ball pythons that are a little more susceptible to that. Uh, there are lots of other species that um, can succumb to that pretty quickly, but um, that may need a vet's attention for a respiratory infection. There are some home remedies, but uh, they don't always work. Uh, so we highly recommend a vet visit if you are feeling that your snake has a respiratory infection. Some things to look out for if you think that your snake may have a respiratory infection would be mucus coming out of their mouth, almost like drooling, uh, and then also lots of yawning. Those are two signs that they may have a respiratory infection, but there are other signs. We highly encourage you to do your research, uh, be prepared, but also uh, seek medical attention for respiratory infections. Coming in at number two, we have parasites. Uh, parasites can be very bad for your, your snake uh, and your entire snake collection. And that is why we put parasites ahead of respiratory infections. We feel like they are just more contagious, uh, whether it's the skin parasites like mites or the intestinal parasites like worms. Uh, they can be very, very serious and life-threatening. Uh, they also may require a vet's attention, but there are some home remedies that may prove valuable as well. 
Uh, our guy Wiz Khalifa has had mites one time. Uh, we were lucky in that he was secluded from the rest of the collection. Uh, we uh, treated his enclosure twice and he's doing fantastic. Uh, no vet required on that one, but that was definitely the next step for us. Whenever Wiz Khalifa got mics, um, he was inside of the water bowl a lot. Some things to look for uh, when dealing with parasites would be little tiny tiny black dots around your snake's eyes, mouth, and cloaca. Uh, you might find tiny tiny little um, mites in their water bowl or if you use like white paper towel substrate you might be able to see them there but they are very hard to spot and depending on the design of the snake it may be extremely hard to see those tiny tiny little mites. Uh, and if you're dealing with an intestinal parasite like worms, obviously it's in their poop and you'll literally see little like one inch, half inch, little thin worms crawling through the poop. Oh, honorable mention is a power outage. Well, a power outage is definitely something that is in the realm of possibilities. We feel like the five that actually made the top five are more important and a little more likely but it can happen to anyone at any time. We have no control over the flow of power and with no power means no heat. And obviously that's very important for all snakes to have that proper heat range. Whoops. Uh, so it's great to have a little emergency kit with some portable uh, heating elements that you can use and you know, possibly transport your snakes to another location, whether it's a friend's house or one that has electricity and can provide that heat until power is restored where you are. Okay, so number one is the death of the snake. Yes, um, you know, being a snake owner um, you know, or a pet owner in general, that's definitely the, the hardest part. Um, you, know, you are going to outlive your pet. Uh, I'm certain that they will have become a member of your family. You know, uh, snakes are wonderful, sweet creatures. Try to remember all of the, the good times and you know, keep a little memory book of the, the pictures and the experiences. It is an inevitable part of the cycle of life uh, and that's why we put it at number one. It is uh, obviously a very very sad thing that we will unfortunately all experience um, they're just part of the family and well, we've got so much love and care for them and um, it's just it's it's hard to talk about but it is definitely a part of pet ownership So that's wrapping up our top five list of unfortunate things to expect as a snake owner. We thank you for watching. We really appreciate it. Um, have a wonderful day. Thank you for learning with us. And we'll catch you on the next one. percent numb right now. And my knee really hurts. <laughs>